Welcome to the installation video for the 449 base organizer for a face frame cabinet. Before we begin, you'll need the following tools. A power drill with a number two Phillips bit and a 3 32nd inch bit, a number two Phillips screwdriver, an adjustable wrench or 3 8 inch nut driver, a rubber mallet, an awl, tape measure, pencil, tape, and scissors. In your box, you'll find the following parts. A 449 unit with patent pending assembled slides, 1 8 inch spacers, quarter inch spacers, a template, number six by half inch flathead screws, number six by 5 8 inch flathead screws, number eight by half inch panhead screws, number eight by three quarter inch panhead screws. To begin, loosen the two screws on the top of the adjustable slide bracket. With the unit on its side, Press one of the orange release triggers and lift the slide. Then press the other release trigger and continue to lift until you can remove the slide from the unit. Measure to find the center of your cabinet opening and gently mark with your pencil. Cut the template along the dotted line. Place inside the face frame and align the center marks. Tape in place. Use an awl and mallet to mark the pilot hole locations. There are four in the front and four in the back. Remove the template. Pre-drill the eight holes using your 3 32nd inch bit. Place the patent pending slide assembly inside the cabinet and align over the pre-drilled holes. Secure to the floor using the number eight by three quarter inch pan head screws. Place the adjustable slide bracket flush with the side wall and re-tighten the screws. Then pre-drill the two holes in the sidewall. Secure using the number eight by half inch panhead screws. Spacers can be added between the slide and the face frame for extra stability. Line your three 32nd inch bit through the first hole of each slide and pre-drill through the face frame. Hook the spacer over the slide Secure using the number six by 5 8 inch flathead screws. Next, set the unit over the slides and push to engage. You should hear a click. Measure from the base of the face frame to each bracket hole location and record those values. Our door is larger than the opening. In this case, measure the door height. Now measure the cabinet opening height. Subtract the cabinet opening from the length of the door. Divide this number by two, and you will have the dimension you need to add to the four mounting bracket hole locations you previously recorded. Measuring from the bottom of the door, transfer those dimensions to the door. A template can be made for multiple installations. Prior to pre-drilling, it's always a good idea to note the thickness of the door. Add some tape to your drill as a guide to keep you from drilling through the door. Pre-drill the holes using your 3 32nd inch bit. Use your adjustable wrench or 3 8 inch nut driver and loosen the four lock nuts located inside the front wall of the unit. Extend the adjustable mounting brackets just over the face frame's edge. Align the holes of your cabinet door to the brackets and attach using four of the number six by half inch screws. Precisely adjust the door skew by sliding the adjustable mounting brackets left or right as needed. Tilt can be adjusted by turning the outer screws so that it pushes against the metal bracket. Each corner is able to be adjusted independently. Once adjustments are made, Secure the brackets. Your installation is now complete. Enjoy your product for years to come.